Hello everybody, this is Chris Brown here. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I want to talk to you about an exercise uh, that I use to help develop or help to start off the day on playing the trumpet. Please subscribe to this channel. Also, reach out to me through my website. If you ever have any questions, that's Chris Brown, B-R-A-U-N, trumpet.com, B-R-A-U-N, Chris Brown, trumpet.com. So without any further ado, we're going to talk about this particular exercise that I use each day when I warm up and I prepare to play the trumpet. And this is the a variation I use or variations on Clark Technical Studies. That's the book it's found in, First Study. So this is Herbert L. Clark, the legendary trumpet player uh, who is in the Sousa Band, his Technical Studies book which he wrote many books. He wrote uh, two primary books that most of us are familiar with, The Characteristic Studies and Technical Studies, both excellent books. This is his Technical Studies book, and this is um, part of his routine, if you will, of things that he used to develop as a trumpet player. Now, this exercise I love to play after I work on blowing through the horn. I prepare myself mentally. I just blow air through the horn. I maybe play some long tones and uh, I might even play some lip slurs before it. Um, but this exercise focuses on just trying to play nice and effortless and even blow with little resistance, little pressure when I play. So that's this Clark Technical Studies first study. So let me play a couple examples of how I do it and then I'll give you an explanation from there. So I start, if you're looking at the um, document, you can buy the book online, uh, or you can get it at a store, or you can get a free IMSLP link on my website, chrisbrowntrumpet.com, under Method Books, and I'm going to be starting on number 13 in the middle of the register of the trumpet. So this goes F sharp to C. It's a chromatic exercise. It's all slurred. We're going to play it relatively soft and we're going to play a nice even sound. Don't uh, increase volume. Just try to play everything even, everything equal and even beautiful sound through each, er each note, keeping a nice open throat. So something like this. So I start in the middle, roughly at 13, then I expand out. So I go down, then up, down, then up. Um, I'm going to go a whole step down here. So I'm going to go E to B flat. Then I'm going to go a whole step above the original starting point. And this concept is based upon my mentors, Jim Stokes, Fred Witted, and Bill Adam, how they talk about expanding everything that you do. This is uh, really something that's paramount in my practice. I always try to expand out so I can have a more attainable range um, going higher on the registers, easier. Um, even it'll make your the notes that are not relatively high a lot more easy to play, a lot more accessible. So expanding out is very important. So expand up and down as well. You should be doing this every day in your practice. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself limited and you're going to find that you won't have as much confident playing uh, things that are maybe normal for you because you don't regularly practice this. So, G sharp right now. So I start by sounding the note and then I continue it up and down three times, not four like he lists in his book. I like to do it three times. Uh, that's just kind of what I was taught. And I think it works better in how I approach it. You want to make sure you're playing light, holding the horn nice and loose, a loose grip on your horn, 
uh, not putting any pressure, kind of just spitting the notes out. As you go higher, just kind of think the notes forward, think them away from you, and uh, don't force anything. Don't pull back on the horn. If you need to, keep your finger up here when you're doing this. Uh, this is, is a very good exercise to help you expand your range. Now, there's a wrinkle I like to add to this when I play it. So this is a six note. We're going up six notes or half of a, an octave. So it's a tritone exercise, which is what they call this interval. That's a tritone. That forms a foundation of dominant chords. You will hear it in the blues. It's the five or resolution. Um, it's the, the chord that needs to resolve that you hear tension in that has to resolve to one. And uh, so it's a very important interval for you to learn and really to get accustomed to hearing. Um, so I like to expand it out from here. So if, example, if I'm on middle C to F sharp, I'll do something like this. expand it I'll, I'll go up the six notes and then I might expand the up an octave from there this is an excellent exercise to teach beginning students how to play the chromatic scale start with the six notes and then expand from there as you notice I outlined the tritone or I outlined the notes that were form the foundation of this exercise so you start on one pitch and you go up six half steps in that case I started on C and I went to F sharp. So then I outlined C's and F sharps up the range. So if you expand from there. So you can see I'm expanding as high as I feel comfortable playing and, and doing the octave as far as the chromatic scale is concerned. So I start with the Clark first study. I expand out so that I'm making sure I'm playing effortlessly up. And then I add the tritone outline at the end going as high and as low as I can. Um, Try to play this as relaxed as possible. This is a really good exercise to really begin the day. Now, notice when I started, I started just on the exercise, playing them relatively slow and soft. And then as you develop and you get more um, comfortable, your embouchure starts to get more relaxed and open. Then you expand out from there. So I don't jump into the high notes right away. Now, sometimes I do just to to see if I can do it on uh, a really uh, call basis there. But in general, I try to ease my way into it. Um, so use this exercise to really help you develop a nice even flow to the trumpet. I start in the middle of the register, so number 13, if you're looking at the PDF from Clark Technical Studies, then I go down up from there. Now, if you're going to go on whole steps or half steps, it should take five or so minutes on this particular exercise to do. And also add the octave chromatic exercise at the end and then expand using the tritones at the end. I think this may be a help to you. Use the same concept when you do the octave and the tritone, though. Try to play nice and even and relaxed. So try to take that even, relaxed, and um light playing, I'd like to say, with no pressure and add it to it. So I hope this was a help to you. This is Clark Technical Studies, first study with a little wrinkle at the end. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to this channel. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I look forward to touching base with you. Keep playing the trumpet and enjoy wonderful music.